Hi guys, Nelson Virgil with ExcelMail.com. Today I'm going to be explaining the use of HCG with, along with testosterone replacement therapy. Some men with low testosterone need testosterone replacement, either by uh, getting a prescription from a doctor uh, for a gel, like Androgel, Testim, Axiron, for Testa, <clears throat> or getting a, a prescription for testosterone injections, either CPNA, Enanthate, Avid, which is testosterone and decanoate. There are many benefits of using testosterone to replenish or to increase your testosterone back to normal levels for your age. However, there are disadvantages. One of the disadvantages of using testosterone is you are, you're basically shutting down your own body's production of testosterone. Your testicles basically stop producing testosterone. There are uh, some cells in the testicles called Leydig cells that go dormant. Uh, when you start either using gels or injections for testosterone. That can cause testicular atrophy, meaning your testicles can shrink with time. Uh, they can, that's a problem that can actually hopefully and, and, and luckily can be reversed. Your fertility, your sperm count can go down. So it may impair your ability to uh, get your wife uh, or your girlfriend pregnant. And uh, some men, after long-term use of testosterone, also start feeling that the therapy is not working as well when it comes to boosting their sex drive. Some feel that their penis is not as uh, uh, sensitive. So that's where HCG comes in. HCG is a peptide uh, obtained by prescription. Uh, it's legal in the United States. Uh, it's, been, it's been having a lot of bad publicity uh, due to its use for um, what they call the HCG diet, which is really not um, supported by the FDA, but is really uh, effective at improving not only fertility in men using testosterone, it's actually been proven by studies, also improving uh, testicular size in basically getting your testicles to look a lot like before you used uh, testosterone. And last but not least, improve your uh, sex drive and your penis uh, sensitivity. Most protocols used by different clinics, uh, anti-aging clinics out there, use two injections a week or three injections a week of uh, HCG, uh, either under the skin or in the muscle. And also, along with that, they prescribe testosterone either once a week for a once a week injection or twice a week. That requires basically, when you add it up, five injections a week. I don't know who likes to inject that much, not me. I'm really trying to simplify my life. We're all busy, and yes, we want to have the best sex drive, the best uh, mental capacity, the best mood, but not at that kind of uh, uh, commitment. So I, divide, I designed a protocol that will simplify everybody's life, mine included, injecting only twice a week, of both products combined in the same syringe. Very tiny syringe, a 27 gauge, half an inch syringe, um, insulin syringe that comes basically in a bag that you can get online uh, without a prescription. I'll, I'll be providing that link or several links. Uh, you also need alcohol uh, swabs to clean the vials and also your uh, skin. And um, you get obviously a prescription of testosterone either CPNA or enanthate. Uh, this vial contains 200 milligrams per mil and a total for a total of 10 mils. So depending on, on the dose, some men need only 100 milligrams a week of testosterone, some need 200 milligrams. In severe cases of uh, lack of efficacy, uh, probably the dose can go as high as 250 per week. You can divide that dose in two injections. In my case, I use 100 milligrams per week, divided by two, that's 50 milligrams twice a week. HCG comes in a vial of 11,000 units I use. And it, it comes in a powder, and, um, and the compounding pharmacies send bacteriostatic water with it that you have to mix it uh, once it gets to your, to your place. The best way to do so is getting the Obviously, the water, 5.5 mils of water uh, injected into the vial, the powder vial of 11,000 I use, which means basically every uh, cc or mil, which is the same thing, will contain 2,000 I use. 
So for 50 milligrams of testosterone cypionate, I basically need, since it's 200 milligrams per mil, I need 0.25 uh, mils every, for every injection twice a week. The same thing goes for HCG. I need only 0.25 mils to inject 500 I use. That's my, that's my protocol. Some men uh, are okay with 250 I use twice a week. Um, how do you know what's the right dose for you? Um, you'll know it within two or three weeks if your testicles are not feeling fuller, you're not feeling more uh, sex drive, and uh, fertility-wise, obviously, that, that, that takes a while to find out if it's working or not. Anyway, so I'm going to proceed now to uh, show how I do it. It's very simple. It's twice a week, as I said, very tiny syringe. Just take the top off. I already cleaned the uh, vials and my shoulder. I inject on my shoulder at 90 degrees. Uh, I combined the two products in the same syringe. It's only 0.25 of each, so basically it's a total of 0.5. Testosterone is an oil-based product, and HCG is water-based, so they never really combine in the syringe. Uh, I'm just trying to save time and frequency of injections. Two injections, basically once a week, for two products that are going to make you feel better, have your testicles the right size, and your sex drive pretty much up there. So just pull the tap, the tap off. I'm going to just draw a little air just so that um, I can push it into the testosterone um, vial. Just push it in and then turn it around and just very slowly because it's 27 gauge. It's a very thin syringe so um, just be patient. It flows. It's an oil based product. So it, it basically flows very slowly, but you know, it's not that, that big of a deal. Right there, I'm almost there. It's only 0.25, so that's, there you go. Pull it out, get a little bit more air in the syringe. Some more, right there, and do the same thing with the HCG. Uh, okay, just tilt it over. Get that air, a little bit more air out there, and then check the air and pull the pull the HCG out. HC is water based, so it flows really really fast. That right there. So pretty much the two products in the same syringe. Just tap it a little. Okay, and then that's it. Basically, you're loading the syringe, two products, 0.5, and go 90 degrees on your shoulders, it doesn't hurt. It's really a tiny syringe, half an inch long. Like this, I didn't even feel it, okay? And then push it in, as simple as that. I hope this helps. Uh, it's not easy to inject so much um, and so frequently. Everybody's busy, so hopefully this will help a lot of guys just adhere to and comply with the therapy. So uh, stay tuned for other videos uh, I'll be posting on excelmail.com and please feel free to ask me any questions or my moderators on the website by registering on excelmail.com. Thank you.